I'm making a symmetrical monarch butterfly print. First, I'll fold my paper in half as neatly as I can and make a good crease. Now I'll unfold my paper and you'll notice that the crease has made a nice line right down the middle of the paper. I'm only going to be drawing half a butterfly on one side of that line because the rest of the butterfly will be printed so it's symmetrical. I'll start with a curved line for the head, slightly longer one for the thorax, and a longer one for the abdomen. So there are three kind of bumps right up against that center line. Now I'm going to start the top of the fore wing, which is the top wing on the butterfly. Here's the bottom of the fore wing. And then this is the start of the hind wing, the bottom part of the wing on a butterfly. I'm connecting these two lines with an S curve and then just a regular curved line from the bottom of the hind wing to that middle line. Now I'm going to add an extra line along the edge of the fore wing and on the hind wing as well. I can add some stripes too. This is optional. You don't have to add the stripes because we'll be adding um, details later when we paint the butterfly with colors. Here's the antenna coming off the top of the head. And now I'm going to draw the veins in the butterfly's wings with a curved line going up on the forewing, a curved line going down on the hind wing, and then two lines coming off that first curved line and two more lines coming off the other curved line. So those are the wing veins. Now it's time to start printing my butterfly so it's symmetrical and we get the other half of the butterfly. So I'm going over my drawn lines with some black paint. And I'm just going to paint a few little sections of the butterfly at once. So I've got the body here. Now I'm folding my paper over and giving it a nice massage so that on the other side, the image shows up. And again, I'm just doing one section of my butterfly at a time before I fold and rub so that the paint doesn't dry before I make my print. That's why I'm doing it in little sections. If you tried to do it all at once, your print wouldn't turn out very well because some of your paint would dry in the time it took you to paint the whole butterfly. So little sections, fold over, and massage. We're making what's called a monoprint. And it's going to be symmetrical, the same on both sides, because butterflies are famously symmetrical. Now don't worry if your print doesn't turn out perfectly on the other side. If you want to go in and fill in some of the spots that didn't get much paint, you can certainly do that or you can leave them as is because that's the nature of printmaking. I'm going to put my name on my butterfly. I should have done that first. And now I'm going to put my butterfly in the drying rack. Now it's time to paint some milkweed. I have a colored piece of paper, which I've written my name on, and a green paint stick. I'm drawing the stems for my milkweed. I'm drawing them all across the paper. And if you want to, you can use another shade of green as well. Gives it a little more variety. Now I'm drawing the leaves of the milkweed. They're oval shaped and they're opposite one another. So just two ovals opposite one another on the stems. 
We're making milkweed because it's a really, really important food source for monarch caterpillars. Notice how I've overlapped some of my milkweed stems and leaves. Some of them look like they're behind the other ones. This gives our art some more depth and makes it look more realistic. Now the last thing I'm doing with my paint stick is I'm drawing these little sticking up lines on the top of the milkweed stems. This is where I'm going to be painting the flowers. All right, I'm putting my paint sticks away. Now it's time to grab some magenta colored paint. So we're, we're making common milkweed, which is found in Minnesota. And to make the flowers, I'm painting little dots of paint on each of those stick up lines that I did on top of the stems. So little dots of paint, it makes it look like the tiny flowers that make up the milkweed. It's made of little teeny, teeny, tiny flowers close together. And by painting dots, we, we give the impression of those little flowers. There were some artists called impressionists who did this as well. They would just give the impression of something rather than making teeny tiny little detailed flowers everywhere. So instead of spreading the paintbrush, remember to dab, 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 dot, dot, dot to make those little milkweed flowers. Okay, I think this is done. I'll just add a few more little dots. Now it's time to put this in the drying rack as well. 